So now let's start our development server and let's have a look on how our application looks like, right? So I will type here npm start to spin up my server and let's wait for, wait for a few seconds. Now let's click on this open on Android emulator and here is my emulator. Oh, it is opening this debugger tool. I will press Control M and I will stop debugging. Right? Uh, uh, we don't need this. Right? Okay. It is building JavaScript bundle. Yeah. So you can see we have this uh, search screen on this. Search screen is being displayed. Let's have a look on the logic what we have wrote here. Uh, I haven't saved this file. Let's see now. The navigators contain multiple screen. Uh, so I think we have given this a search. I need to give this a different name. I will give this a name of video PLA -Y -E -R. Right? Yeah, let's save this again. Right? And here we are seeing our home screen, right? Okay, so this is uh, expected behavior, right? Okay, this is the expected behavior. Let, we are seeing different tabs also in here, right? So we can see we have this text on the very top in here, right? So yeah, we'll be fixing this, right? We will be adding header in this three screen as well, right? So we have these three tabs, right? We'll be testing out the stack navigator. We'll be uh, clicking in this search icon and we'll be navigating to the search screen, right? Okay. So now let's add the header to this uh, this explore screen and the subscribe screen, right? Okay. So uh, I can go to home screen. Where is my home screen? Now code is becoming uh, messy right as we are uh, going forward we are doing a lot of code in here we are getting so many screens that this project is becoming bigger okay so i will copy this header and i will paste this in the search screen right uh, yeah no not in the search screen uh, instead on this uh, this explore i will uh, copy this and i would paste header in here right like so and i will copy this again and uh, I will put this in subscribe screen, right? So I will control V and I will here write H E A D E R H E A D E R and self close it like so. Save this as well, right? And now let's have a look. Okay, we have the subscribe now, we have this explore now. We can see that the tab is present on all the screens, right? Okay, beautiful, right? Isn't it? It is, it is good, beautiful, right? Okay. So let's add this icon light like little icon to this now tabs navigator we don't have an icon right let's do this right so for that we'll be going to the documentation right and let's click on this tab yeah it is open now let's scroll here let's see how we can give screen options so here we can uh, see the example of screen options right i think we should copy up to uh, until this right up to this let's copy this is screen options right control c uh here to go to app and here in this screen navigator here paste what just we copied right okay i, I can close this up okay from there we don't need this size right uh, and we don't need this focused right okay so here if the route name is home uh they are using focus so we don't need this right so here Instead, we'll be writing the name of the icon, what icon to show. Here, if route name is setting, no here. Let's make this route name. Uh, we have this three screens, right? So, we can just uh, write here, explore instead. Explore. E-X-P-L-O-R-E, explore. And we can get rid of this. We'll be adding name very soon, right? Don't worry as of now, okay? And here, we'll be putting one more condition as if, uh, as if, route dot name is equal equal to and subscribe s u s c r i b subscribe make sure this is exactly uh, same as this right so subscribe spelling you should not have made some some kind of spelling mistake right so explore should be also same to this right so if this is the case then we'll show the subscribe icon right so here icon name equal to this and then we are returning this ion icon right okay 
so here they are uh, giving this active color of tomato but we we want that to be a red color right it will look look nice right and inactive color of the tab would be gray okay this is fine this is fine yeah so this is the logic right so for now we need to go to uh, the vector icons right expo e c t o r i c o n s right first we need to search for home or let's search for explore right let's see ex p l o r e explore so we have this explore from the material icon so we need to grab that right so we'll be importing material icons right so here help i'll be import importing import something from uh, at the rate where is our at the rate at the rate expo slash vector icon center something is called material icon mat yeah this one material icon and now here instead of iron icon i can use ma material icon like so okay so now we'll be changing the name of this explo we can copy this control c and we and we can paste here right so if the uh yeah so if the route is our uh, explore route so we'll be showing this explore explore icon right we'll be assigning this explore to this icon name and this icon name is being passed here right so yeah so our tab will have an icon of this explore if this explore is clicked right okay then we need to search for home right so let's search for home right so home from material um, this material icon so we have this home so let's give this a name of let's say home right and let's search for subscribe right s u s c s u b s yeah this subscriptions yeah this one control c and paste it in here right and we'll be making size uh, let's say 32 right and it will have a color which we will be passing from here so we need to give this color which we are getting from here right because we are passing our colors from here right okay so we are detecting if the tab is active then we are passing this color red and we are receiving the red in here and we are passing the red so icon will be red if the color is inactive we are passing gray and we are returning the color of gray let's save this and and here we can see we have this we got this beautiful icon for some reason this home is not working right so why is that a case we will refresh it so we have this beautiful red color right and then as it will if the tab is inactive we have this gray color let's reload this why the hell this home is not working in here right because the home is same right it should work oh still it is not working let me see the code part uh we have given this a name of home if the route name is home let's check this spelling right check spelling of this home so yo we have this h small right here so we need to here write h small right so here we need to write h small save this and let's have a look now we this is working right yeah this is amazing so we can get couple of more tabs right but uh, you can do that by yourselves right you all you need to is to do that is you need to uh, put couple of tab screens uh, right yeah you can duplicate some of the uh, tab screens and you can create your own component right but yeah you know how to do things right now okay so for now we'll be having three screens only right okay now if we click on the search we should be able to navigate to the uh, search screen right now it's a little bit tricky it's a little bit tricky right now we have added navigation in all these screens right we have added this navigation on this screens and we have added navigation on this screen so in this these components this home component explore subscribe we have access to navigation prop right but we want to access that navigation prop in this header right so we don't have access to that navigation prop in header so what we can do in this home we can uh, here in, in this home screen we can destructure that uh, navigation prop from here n a v i g a t i o n navigation and i can pass this to this header right i can do this is the one of one of the solution but we have something better instead of doing this way we can make use of a special hook that is present in this i think that is called as uh, the use navigation yeah this this is a use navigation right so which gives us access to this navigation right okay so we need this navigation right in the header right because from this header we want to navigate to 
our search screen right from this header okay so let's uh, use this let's copy this line control c and let's go to our header let's save this and we'll be going to our header and here let's import that thing control v and here let's write const uh h e o not n a v i g a t i o navigation and i will invoke use navigation like so now uh where is our search yeah this one is the search component here i can attach on press on p r e w s on press i would call a function and that function will navigate to our search screen right so i can use this n a navigation dot n a v i g a t navigate to our search screen so let's call see what name we gave so we gave the search name so okay, we can copy this and we can put it in here control v like so and from that search screen we should be able to, able to go back to the uh, previous screen right so let, where is our search screen so let's open the search screen search screen here we can uh, destructure the navigation n a v i g a t i u and navigation and where is our icon so this is our back arrow icon here we can chain on on press on p r e w s on press and again uh, in this on press we will be calling n a v i g a t i o and navigation dot n oh not navigation we can here call go back to go back to previous screen as well so go b should be capital back like so this go back is also pre built in this uh, navigation right navigation prop okay so it will go it will go back to our previous screen when we will be clicking on this button right uh, let's save this right and let's have a look if i click on the search screen i am able to see the search screen if i click on this i am able to go back to previous screen and i can uh, click on the search icon from anywhere right from this from uh, this explore screen as well right? right here i can because header is available in all these tabs right so i can i can click here so i am able to navigate to search screen if i press this back button i am able to do i am being navigated back to the previous screen right so this is amazing this is looking beautiful this is how we have structure right now the one thing which is left is to work on the video player screen right so if we click on this video we should be able to navigate to the video player screen right so we'll be doing that in the next video first we should work on the video player screen i think so right so yeah we'll be working on a video player player screen and then we'll be adding that navigation as well we'll be doing afterwards right uh, right now we want to make this home screen also dynamic right a home screen has this static images right we need to put something in this explore screen as well and we need to put something in this subscribe screen as well so i'll see you guys in the next video